Well, you know, we uh, I thought we played really inspired uh, defensively in the first half. Uh, I thought these two guys in particular, uh, Bo on the defensive board, uh, Julian uh, guarding Richmond, which, uh, you know, he told me before the game that uh, Richmond was not going to get 36. And I said, well, I, you know, I hope that doesn't mean, you know, like 35, you know. Uh, so he, he played hard, played inspired, uh, like he always does. Um, you know, I thought that uh, Matt Wilm gave us great minutes in Cedric Lang's absence. Uh, C.J. Cooper, five assists, no turnovers, <laughs> even though he only made two field goals. Uh, got us into play, both offensively and defensively. Uh, obviously, it'll be um, a very difficult task coming back and playing a uh, talented ball club tomorrow that we've not had much success about uh, against. They've really had our number. Um, uh, we don't have much time to prepare. We were not worried about Southern Miss this week. We were worried about just trying to get through an East Carolina team that we had a lot of, a lot of respect for. So that's about it. Okay, please remember if you've got a question, raise your hand. We'll get a wireless mic to you. Questions? Coach, when, it, when it's uh, tournament time, is it better to go into a game, playing a game where Southern Miss can be well rested, kind of been sitting around for a couple of days, is it better to go in with some momentum like this? Well, you know, East Carolina played yesterday. East Carolina played yesterday, and, and um, you know, they probably wish they hadn't, you know. Um, but this time of the year, like, like Julian Washburn, I don't know why I ever pull him out. He, he, he never gets tired. He's just one of those guys that can run all day long. And so I, I think we could go play another 40-minute game right now, and he'd be fine. Um, he had three assists, no turnovers. Generally, that's an area that you pay attention to with fatigue. Um, and uh, CJ had five assists, no turnovers. Um, that's the fewest minutes either one of these guys have played in, uh, since December 28th. Right, and um, I, I'm just really not going to talk about. It's kind of like the the uh, altitude in Wyoming. We ain't, we ain't talking about fatigue. We ain't talking about uh, altitude. You know, but y'all can talk about the altitude here if you want. If you want to write about it, put it at 4,500 feet. That'd be fine. You know, but but we're we're gonna we're just gonna go play. We're gonna go play. Coach, can you just talk a little bit about the minutes you got from guys like Jones and Caldwell and Hooper Vint? I think they're important minutes, very important minutes. Um, you know, because over the course of the next ball game, we're going to probably have to utilize them again. If you're fortunate enough to to try to get a win, you're going to probably need them again. And uh, the, these kids, I thought, I thought Tevin Caldwell played with great, great poise out there today. And Jake Flaggard is going to be a very good player. He needed to be in a conference tournament game. And, uh, you know, the footballer, you know, he did well. Aaron, uh, he did well. Didn't, didn't turn it over. He got us, got us a basket, stayed between his guy and the basket. Um, so I think they're very important minutes that, that uh, two walk-ons gave us and that Jake gave us and, and Hooper Vent. Coach, uh, a couple of questions for you. I thought you guys did a great job running the offense through the paint tonight. Uh, and tell us about uh, uh, Hunter's hand. It looked like he, he heard it when he went up for the dunk. Well, he, he had played with, you know, what we called many years ago a jam thumb for, for the last two weeks. Some doctor made the mistake of telling him it was fractured, okay? It was a jam thumb. And, and so he, he um, went out there today and I thought played really aggressive knowing that it was a jam thumb and not a fracture. And, and when he hit the rim, I think he got, um, you know, a little tentative and probably a little scared. But uh, I asked him if he was out for the season. He said, no, it's a jam thumb. I'll be fine. <laughs> so he's going to be fine. Questions for the players? <laughs> Julian, uh, Coach talked about Akeem Richmond, 11 threes last night. I mean, the mindset facing a shooter like that, what is it? Mm, don't let him catch the ball, you know, and if he get a little space, you know, he's going to shoot it. And that's probably the best shooter I played, you know, my, my whole life. And, um, you know, luckily he didn't, you know, make some of the open shots, you know, he had today. And, um, you know, I just try to limit his catches. And my teammates helped me out a lot, you know.
Hey, Bo, playing the CUSA tournament here in El Paso, do you ever think that today could be your last game as a minor, or how do you go about each game now? Uh, there is no tomorrow, you know. I'm just trying, we're just trying to take it one game at a time, man. You know, I ain't really trying to think about all that. I'm thinking about winning. And, Bo, you were here, what, three years ago when uh, the UTEP last ho hosted the Conference USA tournament. Yep. And while this crowd tonight was not a sellout, did you kind of get the sense that that buzz is there and the fans are, are there and, and they're, 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 you really got people behind you? Oh, yeah, without a doubt. You know, uh, it's just it's just something that I, really we all expect here. You know, um, just with the great fan base that we have here, and, and that's why we brought the that's why they brought the Conference USA tournament back here. So, you know, uh, hey, hats off to the fans. They were great tonight, as always. Yep.